tell me this is not a smart market. <laughs> like I said, there's going to be shorts coming in. Do not think of this as anything more than shorts and longs are fighting for. <clears throat> Can we hold this 41? Can we hold this 46 and a half zone? And, and both sides have merit. Those, those of you who believed me and said, I'm going to give this a shot, make sure you get paid by this 42 and a quarter. That's the angel. And I said, we could be in a not-so-fast environment. Still does not negate the MATD. But we said it will be inconclusive and we'll probably get some backing and filling and fighting this this ID to determine directionality. Yep. So in my opinion, we still have the same basic premise that we started with. We we're holding the low and we've taken out the high. This is a sweeper high. And I said, <clears throat> very real possibility today that it will take some time to sort this out. We cannot keep just a positive bias that all we want to do is think that this is off to the races. I think it's a smart market to come down and test that at 37,775. We haven't tested that yet. That's why I said the committed buyers will be using that as their support. So keep that in mind today. You want the long side, you believe in the long side, then we should not break that 37.75. That, that breakout should hold intact. And I love the way this responded the first thing. So two-way day, I said, and, and be very cautious, very conservative about thinking that you can just close your eyes and buy and it's off to the races into the 60s. And aggressive shorts, we said, will probably start coming in here and at 48 to 52. So hit and run is what I'm suggesting. And this is shaking out all of the <clears throat> early longs. Go back and look at the notes. I say good possibility that we could shake out the early longs and then late shorts. Meaning this is a continuation of, the, of this, this afternoon drive where these traders are, are caught right now. So time will tell. Nobody has a crystal ball. I certainly don't. But I do know this. Um, this is morning after trend day. Theoretically, you can buy. The question is, where are your best odds, and how, will we get any traction and, and run long side? And I say the jury's out. I have no problem saying that. The jury is out. You will know more later. And still won't have conclusive evidence. One day does not make a market. So I do know this, if the shorts want to win, they need to undo this gap right here and start to press backwards and make the levers out of the box so mm -hmm. the box will hit bounces mm -hmm. and say, no, you know, you got above the 46 and a half, but it, it has not been held. It's not been retained. He said we're using the 15 minute chart. Keeping an eye on our 15 minute chart. He said we're keeping an eye on our 30 minute chart. And these longer term charts seem to be okay. Keeping an eye on them as well, the 240s, the 480s. So I say that this first defense by the short side is appropriate. And I said be very careful, they're making the assumption we could just go right back in the 60s like everybody's calling. Hmm. <laughs> like I said, uh, don't forget, we could get a sweeper on both sides, right? We've already done that to the high side. So if you're jumping in late, you're a weekend reminder. And target could be that 37.75.
that would be very smart of the market to do that. And and if the bots are defending that with a point or two of risk, then so be it. We won't get there. So, in my opinion, anybody that's playing the <coughs> opening swings, think of it as a neutral, we don't know environment. The boys have run both sides already. All right, anybody's looking to buy, if you're buying 41 type stop, and don't think of it as uh, <coughs> got a hold. This 30 is over and under, you can see it. Smart market. Range type trading, two-way day market, trying to figure it out. Pre-market, I said, make sure you get paid at the gap. And then this squeeze and comes right back in. Smart, very smart market. Here's your RTH. And <clears throat> taking out both sides of the overnight with just a very small margin. You know, like a point either side. And I said today that more than likely this 44 area, 43.75, is going to be the determiner. So still no technical damage, although we've not been able to make much progress early. May need to come back and trap shorts to, to make any progress right now. Anyways, very sloppy open that we said we thought it would be. And and part of the reason was because these, this green line and this red line, this blue line are coming down. And the real key is keeping uh, under this 52 zone, in, in my opinion. So hit and run was uh, advised. And if you got a few points out of this, we said just grab what you can today, either side. Because the, the market is trying to determine is this really a breakout or not. <clears throat> 